Um, Citizens Advice Bureau are able to offer a benefits and advice service where they look at what benefits the older person may receive to support them to live a, a better life within their own home if that, that's what's necessary. And they can also signpost those older people as well to other services that again enable them to live a better supported life. The idea was to try and really help reduce fuel poverty and um, help people in their own homes, people over 65 ideally, to try and stop them going into hospital or even help them after they've come out of hospital with some extra benefits and things, keep them warm, keep them well type thing. Um, people who couldn't normally come to the Bureau for help, we thought we could visit people in their own homes um, to help them that way. So an example of the person we've helped in this project is, um, is Bernard, a nice young man from Aberfan. He'd come into the Bureau asking to see if there was any help available for himself. It was a bit of a struggle, you know. Although we had the bus pass, I had to go to Merthyr End to do my shopping. I went to Tesco's and it was, if you could buy Tesco's food, it was a little bit cheaper, you know. I was buying things like tea, which was uh, cheaper, and they had biscuits and things like that, and they had bread, you know. You could get a loaf of bread for about uh, 45 pence, you know. A colleague of mine gave him a quick interview. Um, she phoned up for some housing benefit forms and council tax forms and um, told him I would be in touch, I'd come to visit him in his house when he was ready for me to fill them in for him and then see if I could help in any other way. Oh, I thought there was going to be somebody coming to the house now and in my own mind, it's going to be telling, oh, you can't have this or you can't have that or you should have done this or you should have done that. Took some background information about the house, the housing, found out what he was on as an in income um, and then I, I thought well hang on a minute it doesn't sound as if it's enough so I did a quick benefits check which we've got on our computers and it showed entitlements to council tax reduction housing benefit and some pension credits so I think within a few weeks um, Bernard got in touch and said some some of the benefits were um, started to come in he was showing me some bank statements and things but before that, while we were waiting, we actually did issue him with a food bank voucher, which we, when he took it along, he was given um, a hot bowl of soup and some tea and coffee or something, I think, and he said he was really pleased because he hadn't eaten a hot meal in such a long time. I feel more comfortable now, you know, that uh, in life. And I feel now that I could go out. I, I feel free and uh, happier now in my mind. The project ran for about nine months and over that time we've helped over 200 people and we've managed to find some income or savings of about £84,000, maybe a bit more than that. Well, our, our chief exec, Lisa Howell Morgan, is really hoping for continued funding for this to build on the success in the future and help other people like Bernard who perhaps wouldn't have been able to have what he's had without this project. Well, uh, even with my mates over there, I used to meet them See about three times. I used to meet them in the baths, you know, we'd go and have a meal. So I had to make excuses then, or I can't come today, I won't be staying for a meal today, you know. Because I just couldn't, uh, couldn't afford it, but now I can, you know. And it's nice, because they, they mean such a lot. My mates mean such a lot to me, you know, over there, uh, over in the baths. And I feel free now, I can go over there and say, what do we... Uh, I just say to the boys uh, then, Daddy, have you ordered anything today? Ah, he said there's uh, sausage, egg and chips or something like that. So you can go in and have a meal with them, you know. It's lovely. Feel free, top of the world.